if people are eating meat and, you know, um, higher fat foods and lower carb foods, let's just say those that they can tolerate, when it comes to fat cells themselves, can they shrink? So in general, there are a couple of variations for this. And I used to believe that you had the maximum amount of fat cells you ever had at age of two and any change in your weight following that was just due to an increase or a decrease in size of the fat cell. Now, under some circumstances, you actually can form new fat cells, but it is still largely true that the bulk of change in your weight is not due to growing more fat cells. It's just due to the changes in size of your existing fat cells. And so I, um, I assist in neurosurgery once a week and it's very interesting when we're actually um, making incisions and you actually go through the skin and then you, you get to the fat layer and we actually have, you can actually see in very big people uh, who are quite overweight, you can see these large globular fat cells and then very lean people, you see they're more sort of like grains of sand. So it's actually, it's very interesting and something we can actually see macroscopically with the eye as well. So when somebody loses weight, do their fat cells decrease in size? Shrink. It's like a deflating balloon. Oh, okay. But then it can inflate again if you eat more carbohydrates and sugars and seed oils. Absolutely. I think people think that fat loss is like really difficult and hard, but from what you're saying, it's very, very simple. It, it's a science. It, you just follow the science. If you understand, you've got the, the chemical influences in the brain that can drive you to eat. You've got the hormonal influences in the body that will determine what you do with what you eat. And if you just control for both of those factors, weight loss can be quite reliable. I've got a website which is slowly in the process of being updated. I do Twitter or what is now known as X. So I think it's Dr. Paul Mason, MD. And I've got several lectures on my friend's website, uh, Low Carb Down Under, which is a YouTube channel. Um, and that was founded by my friend, Dr. Rod Taylor. And there's lectures from lots of people in the low carb sphere talking about everything from, I don't know, sunlight to diet um, from lots of uh, fabulous speakers.